All right. We're in the second peaceful world with a flask of sodium, a flask of fire transformed, one orb. And let's get some other orbs. Why not? Let's go. Yeah, it's just difficult when your success relies completely on getting content out and content takes a very long time to make and I, I'm alone in my endeavor. I don't have any uh, any editor or thumbnail designer or anything. I do everything myself. One of these days, I need to hire an editor for, not for the main channel. See, that's the problem too. I don't want to just stream. I would not be happy just streaming and that's it. And having somebody edit everything for me. That would not satisfy me at all. I actually really enjoy making videos. That's why I do this. So I'm always, it's always going to take me a really long time. And it's always going to be, I need two of me. I need a... At least one clone with a hive mind shared between us. Come on, Cyberpunk, make it happen. Come on, Elon Musk. Or Jeff Beasy. What? Why are you not shooting? Oh, was it just invisible? Where are you at? Oh, yeah, we're in the invincible world. I forgot. I'm like trying to dodge. Yeah, okay, it's there. I guess we don't need the invisible thing on it, but it's fine. Um, we are in. Where am I? Didn't I go to a parallel world? Yeah, so. Maybe. It's just, you know, I don't have the money to pay anyone or anything like that or whatever, you know? <laughs> I mean, you gotta think of it like, if I was to hire an editor, I would hire an editor for the second channel to up to cut my streams because I, I don't just upload stream VODs most of the time. I break them into episodes with thumbnails and everything too. At least one thumbnail, maybe not unique ones for every episode or whatever. <laughs> so, I would need, I would hire somebody for that, but then the way I would be able to justify it is, or like paying somebody, because I wouldn't want somebody to do it for free. <clears throat> the way I would justify like spending money when I don't, can't really afford it is like, well, if I did have an editor, I'd be able to get this much more content out probably, and then maybe afford it. It's like a gamble like that. So, anyway, just things to think about moving forward, but as somebody who wants to stream and who really likes working on edited videos, like, that's, like, my, uh, creative outlet, I mean, there's also the option of, I was gonna, let me finish, like, as somebody who likes these, both these things, it just means that I'm very busy, and I'm going to be very busy always. <laughs> um, but I make videos for me a lot of the time, too. It's not, I mean, you know, obviously I want people to watch them, but I want to help people. That's why, stop it. That's why I make them, too. But a lot of it is my own satisfaction and creative outlet. Um... But if I was, like, working on... Oh, yeah, we did that. If I was working on music again, then maybe I could just, like, have my creative... Have that be my creative outlet. Have more time to work on music. Have more time to do some other things that I want to do. And be satisfied that way. And then have somebody edit all of my videos. And it wouldn't matter... Anyway, hey Luminite Shard, how you doing? The thing is though, is like... Oh wait, let's go over here first. 
It's... I used to be a lot better at this. Um, I used to upload far more to the main channel. Now there's less uploaded because I spend longer on it and I'm streaming also. It's a lot more to ba balance. And I used to upload mainly like Let's Play stuff for the main channel. And it's a lot easier to record like five videos, six videos a day and just get them out if you're not really editing too much, you know? Um, where am I? Do we still have to go up? Uh, maybe. Hey, Solar. Big fan. How you doing? Hope you're having a nice day. Yeah, we gotta go way out here. And Xenon. Hey, what's up? Stomach is destroying you? That sucks, man. I hate that. Yeah, it happens. I know. Where was this one? I, we gotta find the alchemy lab first. I'm also... wait, where the hell am I? We're not in the right spot. Let's just go down here. <clears throat> You're in week one of two weeks quarantine. Man. Well, I hope uh, everything goes well. Sure will. Stay safe. I'm pretty much in quarantine also because I'm going back to leaving the country, going back to Canada again for the holidays. So I need to make sure that I stay away from anyone who might exhibit symptoms in order for me to be able to enter the country or leave the country. Get through immigration. Okay, so this one is, I think, in the wall up here. Some place. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, it's uh, it's like in here, but it may be down a little bit. What the heck? Yeah, it's down. Nice. Yeah, playing Overwatch all day long. Yeah. I want to play some more Battlefield 2042. <clears throat> Although... <laughs> I was going to make more coffee, but I guess it's too late now. I don't want to... I bet you guys saw that too, right? <laughs> that I was already like right next to it. Yeah, it is. It is when you have, when you've gone through years of insomnia and have a very, very over overactive mind, or I'm not going to say that sounds too hoity-toity. You have a very overactive brain that doesn't like shutting down when you have to go to sleep. So it's good for me not to have any caffeine at all, even from like chocolate or anything. Oop. No caffeine after 2 p.m. I also go to sleep at like between 10.30 and midnight. I used to be the exact opposite. I went to sleep at like 7 in the morning. But that was bad. 
Those were days when I worked at night. Now I don't have to work at night. And it feels so much better to sleep well and to be able to do things during the day. <laughs> so nice. We're technically in New Game Plus 28, but after New Game Plus 28, it's hard to explain. Um, I've gone through every New Game Plus loop getting the... Oh, this. Getting the maximum amount of orbs in every New Game Plus loop. Then we did New Game Plus 28, did a 36 orb run, killed the boss, went to the peaceful world, Got 36 orbs in the first Peaceful World, but I had another one of these that I also have another one of. So, got 36 orbs there. Triggered the second Peaceful World, where we are now. I'm getting 33 orbs now, but then before we leave this Peaceful World, next stream, um, tomorrow probably, I'm going to get the three orbs in chest to make this a second, 30, third 36 orb run. Then go to the third Peaceful World and do a 36 orb run there. So four 36 orb runs in a row. And then in that fourth or third peaceful world, I'm uncovering all the eyes and doing a bunch of other crazy stuff. No, the peaceful world is exactly the same as New Game Plus 28. Exactly the same. So once you hit New Game Plus 28, you can't gen a different world. Like it, when you trigger the ending, it like, you know, um, generates a new world, but it's the same seed. Where am I? See, the sodium is screwing me up. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Do we have to go to the right or the left? I think we have to go to the left. We're getting them all in great treasure chests again. Using the Calyresis Orb Alice, which we already did twice. Where am I? Oh yeah, we're way out there. We gotta go this way. Yeah. See, that's why, like, the beginning of this run, this run we've been doing for, like, five months. And, uh, it was legit the entire run until I... We got 33 orbs in New Game Plus 28 first. Killed 33 orb Colmy. And then I triggered the Peaceful World. Killed myself in the Dark Sun to get the, the real legit ending, you know? And then I reloaded my save, and we started cheating by using Calyresis' Orb Alice and then checking our position in the player file. But still, I went through the hours it took to get all three orbs and great chests. And then... The sodium is really screwing me up, okay. And then I, instead of one-shotting 36 orb Colmy with this. I used a two wand setup and fought him over the course of like four hours. Yeah, cheating. I haven't uploaded that yet, but I'm gonna upload it all as one video, the whole fight. Just editing out. We crashed a couple times during it, lost some progress. Yeah, and then like fought him like without one-shotting him, without cheesing him. I wanted it to take a pretty long time, and it took, like, four hours. Then Peaceful World did the, the did the second 36 orb run, and then we came here to the second Peaceful World. Except it's been like a week. It's been a week since I played this run at all. So I don't remember where all the orb rooms are, even though this is the third time I'm getting the same orbs in the same 
positions. It's our third, like, new game plus 28. Anyway, whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll find them. Problem is, I don't have uh, guiding powder. <laughs> so it might take a while to get a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, I do have a lot of patience. I mean, this the Tree Pillars video took me 10 months to make. I didn't work on it every day for 10 months, obviously, but... Or else I, I worked very slowly, but... You know, yeah, I have a lot of patience. Especially when it comes to, like, this game, or games that I play a lot of like I don't I'll take 10 years to do a run in this game it won't bother me but obviously this run's not gonna be 10 years long but you know I love there's something about this game that makes me able to play it without getting bored of it at all not even a little bit yes I wish that I could play it for the first time again and like <clears throat> discover the surface of the world again. Like, that first discovery on, like, the first day of early access. Because I've always been the type of player, person, to, uh... Player. <laughs> to explore. You know, and I've, I've speedrun games since uh, the late 90s with Doom. I was speedrunning Doom in like 1997, I think. It's when I started like really speedrunning stuff. So I've always been the type of person to like to break games and like try to get out of bounds and stuff. So I tried that in this on that first day and discovered the desert. Actually, 18 orbs. So what do we need? You son of a bitch. It's all the sodium. I wish I had water. Ugh. Give me water. Please, that would be so good. <laughs> Maybe we could get some... I don't know, there is water around, but it's like the different, different state, different type of water. I've seen little puddles of water. I kind of remember that. Maybe not normal water, but there's some kind of water-like substance in this world. Maybe like... Nah, no, like brine probably still exists. Anyway. No, I don't have SEMA. We could get some, maybe. If we set the computer date. Yeah, it's true. SEMA gives the wet stain. Ow. I might be willing to do that. Actually, I, I probably am willing to do that. Yeah, infinite health and money comes from uh, stacking perks a bunch of times. Uh, to get infinite gold, you just need to get over 2.1 billion gold, pretty much. Infinite health, I forgot the number. It's like a very big number. Scientific notation. But I, I think it broke at 82 or 83 extra health perks. Okay, so that was all of those, right? Pretty sure. Let's get the lake one. But yeah, I can set my computer's date in order to generate the next world with SEMA, maybe? Possibly? I think... I think it would generate with SEMA. I think what's, what happens is, like, flasks of water, like, some of them are replaced with SEMA, maybe? Or flasks of something. Anyway, I need to drink more fluids. Like, dehydrated. Mm. 
I want SEMA because pouring it on the sodium might cause it to... Oh, yeah. So if you set the date to midsummer, yes, we could totally do that. I will totally do that. And the island, but there's not going to be an island. Because we triggered the supernova. Pinobongo. Thanks for the follow. We'll do that in... Before we trigger the last world. So... Yeah, the next one. Before we finish... I'm not finishing this run today. We're gonna get 33 orbs, but then, like, tomorrow I'll work a little bit on... Hopefully we could get them quick, but I'll get the three orbs in great treasure chests. And then tomorrow, before we head to the next, the final world... Uh... I'll do that. We'll set our date to midsummer. Is that going to screw anything up with, like, Twitch? Because I know it screws up some programs, like Discord and web web pages, web browsers don't want to work. Uh, where am I? Twitch, and, Twitch is going to be, like, banning me because I've traveled in time. It's like, no time travel here. It's banned. Whoops. Wrong way. Nice. I also want to get Mathasad, so come here. Where are you? Oh. Ah, I missed it! No! I guess I could... I have another chance. I would be very happy if we found a wand that had uh, more than 36 slots. That would be fun. Alright, so wait. Where the hell am I now? West Orbroom? Oh, wait, we want to go the other way. Huh? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Wait. So this is west. Yes. Okay. Man. All right. <laughs> hey, stink face. All right. I've never seen one that has more than a... 26 slots. Did I say 36? 26. Let's go fight Levi. Ah, let's get the orb first. Wrong way. Eh. Where the hell is it, man? Did I go too far? <clears throat> Oi! Do it. Thank you. We saw the uh, power plant for a second there. That was cool. Did you guys see that? If you blink, you miss it. There was like a two-frame image of the power plant. All right. Now, back this way. Barely, yeah, I was like, blink and you miss it. Um, wait, was that him? Sometimes, all right. You have a mustache. We gave him a mustache. Now we gave him death. Give me another Sampo. Or just 
gold drain. Okay. That's cool. Thanks. That's totally needed. I wanted all that. And this. Perfect. Alright, now. Yeah, I mean, I've got, uh, like, this is extremely, extremely end game. Post game, I would say. But you can one shot him with weakening curse projectile. He he kills himself. If you afflict him with this, then his little projectiles that he shoots out, they're piercing, so they kill him like immediately. It's the fastest way to kill him. I'm gonna make a video on a, like fast ways to kill all the bosses. How about that? The or fast or just easy and different uh, at different times of the the run. Like you can kill the alchemist from the beginning of a run. Not all runs, but it's pretty common. I mean, there are other ways to do it, but a way that I like to kill the Alchemist early is by using Personal Fireball Thrower. And it's a pretty common modifier to find in the first, within the first three levels, you know? Even the mines, sometimes. Either that or coal pits or, you know, fungal cavern. Yeah, Ping Pong Lumi also. Though that's a little bit harder to find early. Or less common, I guess. I mean, there are, uh, there's a lot of different things you could do. Like, there's a lot of exploits in this game. <laughs> oh, man. Lots of ways to just exploit AI, exploit buffs debuffs. Alright, was that all of them? I didn't pay attention. I think it was. So now we have to somehow find... Hmm. The two side ones, which could take a while because I forgot where they are. Yeah, boomerang also. See, I don't like taking the perk, though. Especially for a long run. Unless I know that I'm going to be able to uh, nullify it pretty easily. Giga Holy Bombs are fun. I like them, yeah. We gotta go down, probably. Alright, so... This is the... Okay. If I remember, this was close to the eye room. Restart real quick. Uh... <clears throat> Giga Holy Bomb is my favorite explosive spell. Or like... Out of Giga Nuke, Nuke, Holy Bomb... Any of those types of spells, like, I, I like Giga Holy Bomb the best. But. Is it a perk that gives you flying? No. Well, a lot of perks. Um, 20 strong levitations. I don't know exactly when it broke, but it broke. We don't need any levitation energy anymore. Um, and then I have, like, 92 extra healths, which it, the health broke at 82, I think. And we have all of the immunities, but we're in the peaceful, invincible world anyway. This world we're in is the second, uh, post-34 orb world, or post-36 orb world. So nothing can damage me at all right now. We could take a bath in Polly and nothing would happen if there was Polly in the world anymore. Alright. 
so. Okay, so we're at the eye room. Where was this? It was close to this, I think. It's probably not that way. like over here oh yeah I think it is around here someplace it was near power plant I don't really want to get rid of either one of these I want to try some more ships with them especially I need to try to get rid of the sodium but then again we could maybe blow it up with SEMA But being able to get some uh, guiding powder would be really nice right now. was near power plant. Ah. I don't think it was this far down. I think it was it was pretty close to the eye room. It's bigger therefore holier. Yeah, and it's just cool that it destroys everything. Even brickwork. It's nice. Although, like, Giga Nuke is fun, too, the way it toxic creates toxic rock. I love that. Alright, 30. Now, we gotta get the right side. Yeah. Salt and excrement. It would be cool if you could get a flask of guiding powder. Imagine fungal shifting something into fungal shifting water or lava or or something that there's a lot of into guiding powder. That would be nice. It would probably crash the game. <laughs> it would be like constant this fire, fiery powder that well, then again, I mean, my whole world is on fire, pretty much, so... Yeah, got, I mean, Omega Black Holes are fun, too. But for some reason, I'm the type of person... Hello, Sock. I... How do I put this? I guess I appreciate things that are... I appreciate things more when they're rare. Or one of a kind with games that have rare drops and stuff like that or like uniques games that are like have loot stuff um like borderlands or anything like that for me if it's the same weapon but just with different stats like i think that's lame for some reason like that's i like morrowind where like you get a unique legendary unique item there's nothing else like it pretty much nothing looks like it nothing has the same ability you know so like my point being cauldron room hmm. we gotta also make sure that we don't generate the cauldron room in the final world on a void liquid day or maybe we'd want to but try fungal shifting void liquid to something else there's a lot of a lot of stuff I gotta do before ending the the next run. Um, but yeah, like the Omega Black Hole. Like I like creating the black hole, but then being able to make more than one and having a spell that does it makes it feel less special to me. I wish that they didn't add the Omega Black Hole spell. 
I, uh, I would prefer, just like, just like getting poly immunity in the game. There's no poly immunity perk. You gotta get, like, iron stomach and then eat a lot of drink poly or eat a lot of the polymorph master bodies. Um, so dehydrated. I would have liked for there to be, like, a true, like, I know you can power up Colmy to be, like, a mega boss or whatever. But it would have been cool if there was a, wow, like a true Omega crazy super boss. And it would be nice to, like, to have to, in, instead of having a spell that summons an Omega black hole, being able to, like, you create the black hole in the Sunseed quest, and then you have to, like, wield that as your weapon instead of getting a spell to easily do it for you, you know? I like the, the features of this game that are like that. Where you can't just easily do something with a spell. Or, you know, I wish that the healing in the game was still rare. I wish that that Lively Concoction was still as useful as it was. Anyway. Where am I? Oh. Go down to four. Hey, Richos. What up? How you doing? It's water biome. Um, hmm. I think we're... Hang on. Where am I? That's the moon. I always look at this thinking it's something else, like, on the map. Alright, we're at Water Biome again. West. I think using it to make a Nihilist ending for the game where you destroy the world would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be cool. I was hoping they would do something like that with the ability to feed the Omega Black Hole, or the black hole that you make with the Sunseed quest. Being able to feed it and then it just gets more and more massive. And then eventually just eats the entire world. That was weird. I think I need a new mouse soon. Some of my inputs are eaten. Like, I, like you know, left click. Sometimes left click doesn't click. At least one of the eyes, I'm assuming all of them are gonna be the same. Once you get to New Game Plus 28, that's the world you're stuck with. No matter how far you can get, if you have a, I think the maximum amount of these you can carry is, this is 20 slots, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I think you can carry five or six up here. So 26, 25 or 26 Sampos, if you had a full inventory of them, you would be able to get that much further into Peaceful Worlds. But once you get to New Game Plus 28, it's always the same world. As far as I know so far, unless they planned for this, which I don't think they did. It relies on a, you know, crashing while fighting Colmy to duplicate this. Which we could have done. It's too late now. There's no more fighting him. But, uh... Damn it. Why you gotta crash, man? The, um, pixel that we need to... Or the pixels... Ugh, that we need to... When did this disappear? Did I drop this by accident earlier on? I guess maybe I... Because I was speedrunning and I had this on. And it's on again. Turn off, dummy. Because we crashed. Ugh, because crashing uh, reloads your config. Let me save and quit so it saves. Because if we were to crash again, it would revert it to on again. Yeah, so that's why. Fuck. Probably is gone. 
So that long ago? West Wizard's Den. Oh, man. Okay, where are we? East. When I was still collecting orbs, or... Like, how many orbs did I have? Was it 33? Was it recent? Or was it earlier in the run? And then eventually just eats the entire world. That was weird. Yep, that's when it happens. Soon. When I said I think I need a new mouse, it wasn't that. It was that I clicked. Because that option was on. Damn. I think it's gone. Ugh! Uh, there's sodium everywhere. T okay. You stay here now. You stay. It did it. How did it get over there? I guess from crashing. Because it was over here. Did I dupe it? It's weird. Okay. Anyway, nice. It was just sitting there the whole time. Like, wait. Pick me up again. Ugh, okay. So I don't even remember what I was going to do. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Let's do this. Yes, yes, yes! We got you back. You can't escape. Punk. I'm not going to try to get orbs 34, 35, and 36 right now. So is there anything else I wanted to do? I don't know. I'm tired now. Kind of like, kind of out of it. I've, I've been kind of out of it from... Working so hard lately. Working like a machine. Let's probably just go raid somebody. Because I don't know what else I would want to do right now. Oh, what I was working on doing before I noticed that. Before we get out of here. So dumb. Let's go to East World. But yeah, that's totally not a bug. It was just that option. I didn't notice that that's what I did. Because I thought that it was turned off, you know? I didn't know I clicked up here. I thought that, because I have had, I go through mice very quickly. Um, and I have had the problem with not just this game, but like, you know, having a mouse and then it phantom clicks or, you know, the main right mouse button. Where the hell's my camera? Learn where your camera is. That stops working. Or like you click the mouse and it like doesn't really work too well. That's been happening a little bit lately. So now I know it's it's time for a new mouse. But anyway.